All right, cheesers, we're back for the next video in our rundown or countdown, if you will. Well, that's kind of redundant. Um, <laughs> to the uh, the last track countdown episode, the special one that we're gonna be doing. Um, it's gonna be absolutely wild. I might have already said that it's Mirabilis, but I mean, hell, you can you should know and you can tell. Um, I mean, I basically showed it at the end of the Barbo video, anyways. So whatever, you know what it is. I I've probably spoiled it at some point. If I didn't, I just did. Um, I mean, yeah, I, I basically already showed. Anyways, that's gonna be on the 31st, uh, around 9 or 10 central. Uh, I'll probably be streaming a bit before then, but around 9 or 10 central is when I'll be starting, uh, like a bit of a watch party, um, on my stream for that track countdown episode. And again, you don't want to miss it. If you, if you can't, obviously it's New Year's Eve, you know, I'm sure people will have plans. Um, so if you can't make the watch party, that's fine. But definitely check out the video uh, as soon as you have some time because it's going to be worth it. All right. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm excited about the project. So, stat updates. Um, trying to keep up with these. So, we updated, and by we I mean me, <laughs> um, the ultimate stats. So if we scroll all the way down, see the reach races. In the Firestone Firehawk races, Grand Finals, the regular season as well. Excuse me, have all been added in um, to our massive stat stock. So we've got some updates. Um, and like I do in the stats segment um, for the track countdown videos, I'll do a scroll of these and you guys can pause at any point, look for yourself, or just pull up the dock yourself. Um, and look for your stats, but yeah, I'm gonna go through, uh, <clears throat> the different main ones, the ultimate in-depth stats. Um, and then I, I want to look at, like, the ones that we've updated. So I, I've got all these yearly stats now. And here is the final 2022, now that we're at the end of the road here for this year, the final 2022 ultimate stats. Um, pretty wild year. Uh, detail the leader on the, the starts and the wins. Uh, Pancake the leader on the rating, um, myself the leader on the the seconds and the and the thirds, um, on the podiums as well, and the top fives too. I think Pancake has the win percentage, uh, the second percentage I got. NJD kind of cheesy because he only did a couple races or a <laughs> handful of races, but leader on the third place percentage, and funnily enough, uh, technically the leader on the podium percentage too because of that, which is funny. Um, and the top fives as well, but, I mean, if you want to go for, like, you know, a decent a ch decent chunk of starts, then I would have the podium percentage, Pancake would have the top five. Two regular season championships, Pancake three for myself, three for detail. Four grand finals for myself, one for detail. Um, and you can take a look at everybody else's here on the year as well. Um, yeah, pretty wild year. Lots of races to go through. Um, so many different series, and, and it was uh, it was a lot of fun. So, of course, uh, the games, we updated the Reach Ultimate stats. Uh, these look quite a bit different uh, than they did before, because obviously we just added in a whole Reach throwback season. A lot of race results there to add in. Um, Detail made a pretty big climb, because he had a pretty strong Reach throwback going up to fourth place. Um, behind two OGs. Well, I suppose I'm an OG as well, so three OGs. Um, Dark Shadows and, and Congo in second and third there. Um, but yeah, Detail made a bit of a climb up to fourth, which is, which is difficult to contend with, the these OGs here in most of the, the top spots. Roman's in a pretty decent position as well. He's in the top 10, uh, for Reach, too, and he's got a pretty decent win percentage, decent second place percentage. Like, Roman's Reach stats are, are not bad, honestly, not bad. They're pretty, pretty solid. Um, Real Dill adding some races in here, Slaunch adding some races in, and a lot of these other... New drivers that weren't around in the beginning. Opix, Hunter, Vulcan, um, Camby. A lot of guys like that nuked, adding in their names um, into into the stock. Uh, so yeah, so Reach Ultimate stats. Of course, Halo 4 and H2A with Firestone, Firehawk. Take a look at these. <clears throat> um, take a look at how, how these went. The Halo 4 Ultimate stats. Still so many starts. 330 for myself, which is insane. Um, I think well i'm kind of curious let me look at the h5 real quick 317 317 so yeah actually more 
actually more in Halo 4. That's wild. For how much we did in Halo 5, um, the fact that I have more starts than Halo 4 HRL is, is insane. That being said, we did do, I took some races off in Halo 5, and we also did like wildcard races and stuff like that. So I'm sure we've done more races in Halo 5 than we have in Halo 4. I'm pretty sure about that. Um, but it's wild that, that my starts are, uh, are, uh, a, a bit ahead in Halo 4. Like, that's pretty crazy to me still. Not gonna lie. That's, that's, that's pretty wild. That's pretty wild. But yeah. Um, you gonna look here at all these Halo 4 drivers. Get the rookie ones down there too. Only the couple starts. And then H2A. These hog races. Gets an update. See a lot of rookie drivers in H2A. H2A um, got a lot of love. Got a lot of love. We we got, you know, like pretty much all those uh, seasonal series had some form of H2A uh, involvement. DSS was like all H2A. Um, yeah, H2A got a lot of love this year, which is something that I'm really proud of because that's something that I've always wanted to do. I always feel like H2A was underrated, underrated and underutilized. I've always felt that way. I, I think H2A is very solid. It, it just sucks that it doesn't have the, um, the, uh, uh, what am I looking for? The maps, the maps. Sorry about that, the maps. Um, it's unfortunate that it doesn't have those as with, like, a some more canvases and some more, like, actual Halo 2 map remakes. Like, God, this game could have been great. So it's unfortunate that it's missing that. Um, but again, that being said, I still always felt like it was underutilized and underrated. I really enjoy H2A, and I'm really proud that we got to put in so many more races in on it this year. And that we're having another H2A-focused series with the Hogs, which is, like, two birds with one stone. We need more hog action. h 2 is underrated. Well, the H2A hog in particular is great, so we get we get both um, in the new year, so that's really cool. Um, so, yeah, so we updated that stuff, um, and then we got some updates for these, like, particular uh, stat sheets as well. So I'm going to go through these a little bit quicker. So World of Outlaw tracks. We did technically race one in Firestone Firehawk. So there was a slight <clears throat> update here. With that last Firestone Firehawk race. And the Firestone Firehawk ultimate stats themselves have obviously been updated. And of course, detail getting a full season in. Um, having not participated in the Firestone Firehawk before, uh, got his stats on the board. And in second place, very, very close, actually. Very close. Like, competitive with Luke here. And um, if the next, if the Hog series is like technically Firestone Fire Hog, haha, season four, um, then that'll be, you know, competitive uh, going into that. Yeah, detail obviously. Having a really strong season, putting his name on the board here. Very high win percentage. Um, solid podium percentage as well, and pretty solid in all the stats. So, uh, he obviously made big gains here. Slaunch further improved. He, I mean, his stats for Firestone Firehawk were already good, but he obviously had a really strong season too. So, he added a lot of wins. He added a lot of wins <laughs> to the board um, in this one. Um, so, yeah, that, that got pretty big update for, for this series. SX tracks, of course. We raced some SX tracks and reached throwback. This one got a bit of an update with some more SX races completed. So yeah, that one got another pretty big update as well. Um, oval tracks, too, of course. Lots of oval races in the reach throwback as well. So this one received a bit of an update, too. Reach ovals, very tricky, very different um, compared to uh, ovals and other games we've been racing. So a lot of drivers figuring that out. And the GP track as well. The GPs. Reach throwback as, uh, as well. So of course this is updated too. Not all of them were bangers, but there were a lot of great Throwback GP tracks in the Reach Throwback, I gotta say. Had some awesome classics in there. The Grand Finals lineup was pretty good, and I also really enjoyed, like, Road America and, and Coda in particular. I thought those tracks were very good. And then, of course, we did have an RX track uh, for the Hogs as well, so a slight update here. Take a quick look at this one. 
just a slight update, just the the one night. And we have a new sheet. This is what we've been, I've been waiting for with this video. That I've been looking forward to. Hog ultimate stats. I figured if we're going to be doing it going forward, um, if we're going to be doing it going forward, we got to have a hog ultimate stat sheet. So now we do. You can take a look at the stats here. Um, with the TRS race, the DSS races, and now the half hog season in that last season of Firestone Firehawk. And we'll obviously be adding to this um, with Firestone Fire Hog <laughs> in the, the early New Year. So, yeah, I figured if, if we're going to be doing this going forward, it's time to add a hog ultimate stats page. So I went ahead and did it so that we're, you know, going to be able to update this um, going forward. And definitely, we're all excited to be doing some more stuff with the hogs. Um, they're just a lot of fun. Those H2A, H2A hogs, I mean, they're all fun, but H2A hogs in particular are just fantastic. They are so much fun. Such a good time. All right, and to end this off with our, our uh, stat update video, I just want to say again that this Hall of Fame, haven't forgotten about it, still plan on getting this up to date. Um, I have taken a little break from it, and I'm probably going to continue on that break. But leading up into uh, when we start racing again in the new year, I'll probably kick this back up and try to get this fully up to date. Because I think that uh, two things in particular for the stats. I think that having this ultimate in-depth stats page is very important to me. I really like having this. And I also... Um, think that having like a hall of fame uh showcasing like the podium finishers of like all the seasons throughout the years and the grand finals i'll add in as well that's also very important to me so um yeah i, I think it's i think it's pretty necessary that we should have something like this and have something like this and and try to keep these up to date so this is pretty much up to date there's technically a few things that we could still add into this um it's just not a priority like with some of Limturny results and stuff like that. So potentially those will that's one thing that or basically the only thing left that could get added into this and that will probably get added in, into this at some point, a Limturny results. And the Limturny results of course will be added into this for sure. Um and also just the other results in this Hall of Fame. I got up to Halo 5 season 7. Um so there's obviously still a decent amount to add in there. Um But yeah, we'll make sure uh again, probably around the last week uh, before we get started again, I'll, you know, do another pass through of these and try to get them up to date. And we'll, we'll try to keep this stuff, um, as fresh as I possibly can. Because again, I just think it's, I just think it's important to have. I think you should always have like a Hall of Fame type thing and stats page. I think it's really, um, cool concept and something that I want to, want to keep up with, uh, for HRL. So, but there you go. There's your little stats update at the end of the season. Little stats update for Lil Pump. Um, <laughs> throw back to that team. Uh, I got two more videos planned to lead up into that track countdown. And one of them is going to be, you know, kind of looking back and giving my thoughts on what we did in the past year. And the other one's going to be a little preview on beginning of what we're doing next year. So I hope you guys are looking forward to those. And again, the track countdown is coming so soon. Um, so don't miss that. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed it and see you later.